What's up? All right, so today we're going to install the shower panel. We're going to try this on the phone. We're going to install this the LO and Aloe shower panel. What it is is a big awesome shower head that will mount to this, which I'll show you how it works. And then comes with body sprays here. you got your body sprays here. Three different functions here for volume control for your temperature, your diverters for your shower head and body sprays, and again, your diverters for your other shower heads and body sprays. And it also... We'll have a handheld on the side, you'll see. And then at the bottom, it's also got a tub spout, so you can turn it straight to tub and just run the feet underneath until it gets nice and warm, and you turn it to where you want, and there you go. So, uh, okay, we're going to start putting this thing together. Hey, Jay, come here. Let's check this out. So you got your hoses. You got your head here. You don't have your hook, and I'll show you all these fun pieces to play with. All right, so just hold that and just aim it towards kind of just where I'm working at, where my hands are, where you want yep. to. You don't need my face, just yep. stuff. So here are your main heads for your shower head supplies. Just stub those in like so. Put my gloves on. Like so there. Take a look at the inside of this thing. Show them the whole inside Damn. part of here. So you have your cold supply, which is yellow for whatever reason. Then we have our hot supply here. Then you've got your aquatic charger here, which allows you to run all this off of aquatic battery power, so you don't ever have to replace a battery. All right, then you got your handheld hook, which is here. You want to get all the stuff on the inside done before you flip it over. It's easy. Hold back the front up here. Here's your clips to hang it, anchors, your screws, your mounted hose. See, you got your gasket and up here. That's gonna go on the outside. Let's see, that's gonna go on the inside for looks. So, go like this, put that like that, just like this. Tighten it down. We've got to make correct shell locks. Cool. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right, then you get your crescent wrench here. Be careful on this panel, these things are razor sharp, as you can see. Alright, yeah. We get this hose here, and you get a filter. I use a filter on a shower head, just use the bigger bigger filter, the screen keeps the trash out of the shower head, keeps it clogging up. Get your hose here. Make sure it's long enough. I'm short now. Make sure it's long enough, hand thread it on. And then you'll get your crescent wrench or wherever. And like so. Snug this down. Once you get that snug, go ahead and give this other nut just one more little tighten so it doesn't move. Okay? Sure, that's good. And you want to go through this whole panel. 90% of the time it's good, but sometimes they forget to, to tighten the clamp. And you don't want a loose clamp inside your wall. So you want to get your. Oops. Phillips head here, and just go through and make sure that they're all snug. I'm just going to take the small head, as you can see. Okay, don't over tighten because you can snap the plastic housings or the brass. That's tight. Here. Screws back here, which will tighten up back here. Pop those off. 
I'll do a glove if I can get the cut. All right, then you're gonna fish these. Oh shit! Gotta pull this panel here off too. We got. You gotta hook this up before you put this in, otherwise you won't get this back where it needs to go. And this one here is for your shower head here, and this one's for your rain head up here. So whenever you hook these hoses up, you need to make sure that from here, there's a setting. This one is your rain head, which is to the left, and your shower head is to the right. It shows the shower head. So if the shower head is to the, to the left, it's going to be this one is the shower hose. So you need to make sure that this ties into this one. You want to get your power cord here. What this is is blue LEDs, which you'll see once we get it fired up. Okay, you're going to shove this in just inside of this housing. Oh, shit. Whatever, bro. Hold it. <laughs> you got to pull these out. Being the design of this, you got to take this off, too. Okay, you get your hoses, put them through here, get your wire in and ready. No, nope, take the wire out, that will do. Okay, try it again, like that. We'll get this through here, loosely. Don't hook this up yet, don't screw the back end. Then we'll run our hoses through the brackets, show the brackets right here. Through here, through the hole. And then you'll fish it through like this. Do it again with the other side. Which we determined is our rain head, our shower head. Okay, while it's all still loose, go ahead and push this up to where it goes. Let's see how we do this. Let's loosen this. Put this about where it goes like that. Then we got a little bit of play in these things. Then we'll cut these. Okay, let's make sure. This one's to that one, which is the rain head, which goes to here. Shut it through the back. Yeah, this one's the rain head. Okay, so the rain head is here, so we'll cut this one here. This is our shower head. We'll flip them here. Cut this one right here. Get your, get your hose clamps here. Put these along where they go. Oops, clamp on first. Yeah. Make sure it gets all the way up to there. So hose clamp on here. Okay. Let's tighten up the clamp.
and just test it by making sure you can't spin it. You know it's good and tight. And you could use a drill, but you tend to over tighten these screws, and if you over tighten these screws, the thing is no good. So take your time, do it right. Okay. Uh, let's just spin this again. Okay. Now let's see which way it's best. Let's try to put this panel back on first. Right here. Like that. Which is on the V6. Okay. Line your holes up. Then slide this booger in here, like so. Get your two top screws here. Get it snug, not tight. Get the bottom one done. Nothing is bound, everything looks good. All right, out of the way, cap this. Okay, then you get back here. And this is your connector for your thermostat. You just connect it in. There's other ones, but they're tied up and they're tied up for a reason. Okay, and there's this. I'm gonna put this on real quick. Oh, it has two ends. One end has a nut, one end has slip fitting. Slip fitting is for your sprayer. You don't need any other pieces to go with this. It just threads right on here. No gaskets. The gasket's already there. You just turn it on. So, and this will connect to this, which we'll do later. So it's not in our way when we're setting the fixture. All right, so now let's go stand it up and see what it looks like in there. See what we need to cut. Do you have a marker? Let me get us a marker. Um, I'm going to pause it. All right, so what I did is I measured center of the shower, which you have 30 inches from edge 
to edge. So we're going to get center. So that's going to put us right here. And I gave us two inches and I gave us some more because I need to cut this valve out. But yet I'm going to need to get to the water lines that are back there. So we'll see what happens. Alright, All right, so we just used our good old trusty grinder and our diamond bit here. And we made some cuts. All right, so after you cut out the valve, you come through here, you put on two metal adapters, 90s, whatever you gotta do. If it's copper, you copper 90 out, and you put your metal adapter right there by the end of the wall. Then what we'll do next, we'll measure from right here and right here for our brackets. We'll hand hold it up to see how it fits. And then we'll get our brackets drilled under the wall here. And then we'll tie these in, hang the brackets, hook the hose up, test it. Uh, if it all works, we'll be... And once you get it all set up, you wanna get to... Hold on. Then what you want to do is you want to get your brackets you've got here, these nice little brackets here, and you'll measure from center two and a half inches each way, so you have an overall of five inches, okay? Then you come down, tie the bracket there, and you hold your bracket up in place, get it where it needs to be, where this tab is below your mark, mark your holes like so, and then drill them out. All right, now we drill the holes. Got all the holes drilled. I ain't waiting for you to do that. What we're gonna do is we'll put our anchors with these little anchors here and a hammer. And you just shoot your anchor to the hole and just quarter inch bit. Hammer drill bit. So I need. Here. screws, so don't try to use some drywall screws on this. They will rust. Okay. So they don't like to stay on a magnet. Before you walk on to the next one, you can put a level on this to make sure it's level. Okay. So when you put your panel on, everything works. Now that you got this thing all prepped and ready to go, you see your brackets, your brackets. Get your little pipe up on here just for reassurance. Just so you get it's good and tight. Rub it in, make it clear. Wipe your access off. 
that. Then you're going to get your panel. You and someone is going to have to help you to do this. Just set it up like so. And then the other guy will come up here and he'll hook these up. Deposit. it. So now you got these connected. You're going to temporarily hang it up. Make sure everything's going to work out. Beautiful. Man, that's beautiful. And then we're going to come through and we're going to level it out and all that, but we're going to take the panel off one more time once we get the water back on to make sure that we don't have any leaks in the panel. All right, so now we got it all in. We tested the back, no leaks. We'll show you how it works. Three. There's the shower head, the waterfall. Beautiful. Regular shower. Chest body spray. Then you got your tub spout, your toe feeler, body sprays. You got your hand handle. And on top of all that, You've got a quiet thermostat right there that keeps heating as you run this temp this thermometer here. You can turn it up, turn it down, whatever you want to do, and it'll run your time and keep your temperature.